With SpongeBob heading into its 13th season this year, the series has been on the air for more than 20 years, so there's definitely been some mistakes along the way. Well, in today's video, we'll be talking about a couple of those mistakes. So with that said, here are five goofs you missed in SpongeBob SquarePants. Before we get started though, leave a comment down below, letting us know other shows you'd like us to cover on the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, that way you enter in to our monthly shoutout giveaway. Our first mistake can be found in the very first episode of Season 13, A Place for Pets. In this episode, Mr. Krabs turns the Krusty Krab into a pet-only establishment, meaning that real fish are not allowed inside resulting in a bunch of disappointed customers. Heading back to the beginning of the episode though, there's a pretty bad mistake revolving around Squidward's Krusty Krab hat. Normally, this hat has a black outline. However, in this episode, it's red. And not only that, but during this scene, the hat seems to glitch out of the red outline and looks really weird. This episode was initially delayed, and it seems that SpongeBob's hat also has the red outline. So this was definitely a mistake by the animators due to time constraints. In the episode Bubble Buddy Returns, SpongeBob's longtime friend Bubble Buddy returns to the Bikini Bottom for the first time since Season 2. While actually, despite being titled Bubble Buddy Returns, the episode is largely centered around Bubble Buddy's son, Shiny. Bubble Buddy does show up, but it's only at the ending of the episode and it's only for a couple of minutes. But anyways though, back to the mistake. During the episode's opening scene, we see SpongeBob read a letter. And if you take a close look at Gary, the patterns on his shell have the wrong colors. Uh, oh boy! Did you hear that, Gary? They want me to watch Little Shiny! We get an interesting glimpse of Patrick's morning routine in the episode Rise and Shine, and learn a lot about our favorite starfish. Given that this episode is only around 3 minutes long, I'm going to skip the plot summary and get right into the air. In one scene of this episode, we see a shot of Patrick's TV, and for about a split second, it shows a green screen. Green screens are primarily used to put video into video, so it's clear that this green screen was here so that they could put the clip of the news broadcast, but unfortunately the green screen was shown for about a frame or so. Oh, my favorite time of the day. Breakfast and a little morning television. And now, live from Bikini Bottom, it's Bikini Bottom Live! Our next mistake can be found in the episode, Waiting. In this episode, SpongeBob discovers and responds to an offer in his breakfast cereal for a free toy, and becomes desperate for it to arrive. Now when we first see the advertisement on the Kelpo box, it's bright orange. However, seconds later, when SpongeBob is seen reading the advertisement, it suddenly changes to a more purplish red color, making for an extremely subtle but clear animation mistake. What's this? <laughs> In the episode Mall Girl Pearl, Mr. Krabs' daughter Pearl is feeling a little bored, so she gets a job at the Bikini Bottom Mall. Now the actual mistake in this episode is a little complicated, so let's just get into it. In the season 1 episode, Sleepy Time, we get a glimpse of Mr. Krabs' driver's license, which claims he was born on November 30th, 1942, and that his address is 3541 Anchor Way. However, in Mall Girl Pearl, we get another look at Mr. Krabs' driver's license, but this time it says that he was born on September 25th, 1960, and that his address is 2219 Anchor Street. Of course, Mr. Krabs could have moved in between Season 1 and Season 10, but you can't change your birthday. So yeah, this was definitely a mistake.
with a mustache, Mr. Krabs. Guess what? <laughs> I have no idea, Pearly.